5.30. We spent too much time in the sun and all of us are just over it. that early this morning. You want to pull the, uh, the transmission back out of the way so you can get in there? You know what all of these wires go to. That's not the question for now, just yet. I see. I say that because you gotta cut all these wires out and put in the, the uh, harness from the other bus. Ah. The wires with plugs on them? Yep. Most of them go to a very specific place. This only goes to the one place that has those three. Ah. This one here doesn't goes to the horn and windshield wiper from from before before the sensor plugs are different this one here is round with uh one hole in the middle oh. that's a plug so it's just they only go kind of one way I, see. I guess you if you want to say that that is three inches yeah what is uh three inches in millimeters hmm i don't know i'd have to look it up well we need to look it up because i need to buy the piece that doesn't look like this but i need to buy the piece that goes to this that has the adapter for the hose on it. Three. All right, put the drive shafts back in. Without dropping. Got that transmission in all by your dang self. Are you tired? Yeah. You look tired. Well, I had to rest like three. Don't fall asleep there. Looks like you might could. Nope, there's too much grime in the testing. Yeah, you're a little filthy. I still gotta pick these two. Alright. It's another hot day. Curtis has removed the wiring harness. Now he's working on control panel things. Get, the dash bar. Getting all those bits out. Let me get my camera real quick. Hold on. The chaos. There is a lot of chaos. What's that noise? What are we working on out there? Mark is reattaching the uh, transmission filter and Matthew is cleaning the oil pan. So huh. that we can put a new gasket on it and put it back up. Nice. Go ahead and take it. And you're still looking for your filter. I give up on looking for the filter. Uh, O'Reilly has one for $56. Okay. Thank you for the help. What a disaster. This boy's out here making all kinds of mess. But we got a lot done. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. I just want to drink some water. can't open the pack. It's 5.30. We spent too much time in the sun and all of us are just over it. Matthew don't have a knife in his pocket? 
Hold still. <laughs> I'll, I'll open that packet. It seems like I've been here every week for the last four weeks. Maybe this is the last time for a while. parts everywhere. Oh, look at you with this fancy machine. This is not a summertime song. It's not sweater weather. <laughs> You think that's a gallon left? Maybe, I don't know. It's less than a gallon. It's... How's that bolt clearing going? One out of two. We have to uh, do the weld on a sacrificial bolt and washer. Aha. Uh -huh. Persistence pays off, huh? Persistence, yes. But I think patience is, uh, well, an old lady once said it was a virtue. <laughs> Pretty much the only one I have. But all I did was uh, put a washer on it and then put a beta weld there and a beta weld there for more meat for the vice grips to hold on to. Because vice grips really don't hold on to uh, threads very well. Right. It's trying to come along. It's uh, still a little bit bindy, but it's much better than it was. Cool, yeah. 